Hey guys, Blue and Friends here. I'd like to apologise that I've not been on for a while. I've just been extremely busy and trying to get better. Right, today I'm going to show you a long moves first aid stuff. And I mean stuff and gear. I mean gear. I mean literally this is everything I carry. It's all in different places. It's all in different modules. So I'm hoping you enjoy this video. And I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna turn you around, I'm gonna pan you down, I'm gonna let you see what I've got. And then I'll go for every single thing. And it might be a long video, so I do apologise about that as well. See you in a bit. Well then guys, this is all the first aid kit I carry throughout my e from my EDC, from my jacket, from my belt on my rucksack, and the inside of my rucksack. Right. Quickly before we start. This is, everybody know my cold and um, winter kit. I'll leave a link to this video in the um, description if you'd like to check that one out because I'm not going through that one today because I've already done that one. So, right then, shall we begin on these? Right, this here is my belt, my EDC belt first aid kit. Yes, I do carry one of these. I think they're smart to carry and I recommend it full stop. I carry Bart Bees. This is just a little small little kit like sun cream, insect um, relief, um, bite and sting relief, um, triple antibiotic cream, and lots of blasters, UX sun safe UHB tabs and I do carry one of these water and purification kits in here as well and that is in the head of context micro med pouch if it's going to focus there you go it's going to focus No, it's not going to focus. Right, but that's the micro one like that. So we'll put that one aside. Now we'll go through what's in my jacket. Same again. I carry one of these. Yes, I do carry quite a few of these. You will see a few of these through my kits. I thought let you know. This here is the Helicontact Pocket um, Mid Med Insert pouch on the outside i do have potassium permanganate as you can see on all my kits all my first aid kits there is red power cord on all the handles so in here i, I got banjo um, alcohol swabs more plasters uh, strip reliefs a one of i don't know what these are called i can't really remember but they stick to each other tape finger dressing one of these Wilkinson's white lints because I think they're fantastic. Magnifying glass, um, friends of lens, sorry. And <sighs> triangular bandage. And in the very back, a foil blanket. And that is what I carry in my jacket, first aid kit, in my smock, first aid kit. I can add more to this one if I wanted to, but I don't because I don't want to. So that's that one there, guys. That there lives in one of the separate pockets. That lives in another pocket. Right, we'll get that out of the way. Get this big thing out of the way. That there lives in my rucksack. It is a tourniquet. It lives inside of my rucksack, ready to go, all set. So, yeah, I am missing a few things. Like this one here is meant to have scissors, but I'm missing, I basically missed, I need to go and get some new ones because the other ones I just don't like. Okay, that's that one. You all have seen this before. This is my quick deploy first aid kit. My quick deploy tra um, trauma kit, if anything happens. I've just put a um, glow-in-the-dark piece of tape there, so then basically, if it's at night, I can see it. Because this does not leave my shoulder straps, this stays on my shoulder straps of my belt and my my belt, my straps and my belt of my rucksack. As you can see, I have one of these 
Um, SWAT T drawn a case. I have a pen or a sharpie type one to go with the tourniquet to write down the time. Again, I have another one of these. I have some gloves. And again, I have another foil blanket. And I have some safety pins connected to the side. So it's quite quick, quite easy to get through, quite easy to get up. And basically, if I need it, if I need it, I've got it there straight away, and it's not basically a hard place to get. It's quite quick and easy. So that's that one there. As you can see, that's how quick it is to pull away. It's not very heavy. It's not very big to go on my shoulder straps. Right. Let's talk about this one here. This one here is my basically my medication and my creams kit. I keep my creams and my medication all separate because that's the way I've been brought up in turn. Do and basically last time, I basically when I was younger, basically when all the cream was inside my rucksack and my first day kit, it exploded. So I've kept it up since, and that's the way I've been taught for my. I don't know what you call him. It's a guru person who basically teach who used to teach me everything I know. So yeah, as you can see, it's the same style pouch as the other one. I've just have to change i just got to put this zips back on here i'm not going to go for every single thing in here guys because you've all seen creams before as you can see there's that one i can't even say that so i'll write that down for you i put that underneath so there's a lot of creams in here there's lots of redundancies i find in my kits like i even carry another vaseline tin with aloe vera in here as well and there's the side with all my medications, as you can see. Yes, I keep it all separate because the truth is I don't want to put that in my first aid kit because if someone's got to grab my first aid kit, I really don't want them to grab that them and see them personally. Okay, that's that one there. Talk about in a minute. Here is my main first aid kit. This one here is a Condor Rip Away Light Leet. I think I'll show you in a minute with the um, where it goes on my on my strap on my belt. Uh, same again, power cord hand power cord handle, so I can grab it. I do prefer the power cord handle instead of these. I've just stuck this on for now because I've got it. And well, basically, I will be taking that off after this video. Right, then, let's go in here quickly. As you can see, there's lots and lots of goodies in here. Like oh, let's start over this side. These are all bandages, lint, as well as one of these um compress gauze. I was happy that I was able to get that. It's nice and thin. I did get two of them, so I've only added one to this kit. I've added another one to my other kit, and I do have another one of these water bags with purification tablets. I haven't. I forgot to put one in my pocket for in my um jacket pocket fire kit um fire kit first aid kit so i have to do that sooner than later so that's that this side again another vial of potassium permanganate yes it's in the bag because basically i don't like it to exp i don't want it to go all over the place another tape another one of these bandages and i have a small bit lighter in here so just in case if i need to sterilize anything so I have it, it's blue because basically that's the only ones they sent me. And that, that's the brightest colour I had. So so yeah, I do have one of these small black torches in here. Anything like that. So yeah, I'm not taking it out because it's all good. I have sterilised this on, on two of them. I have iodine uh, iodine swabs i do have the iodine liquid i've just got to find a place to stick it this morning time i haven't worked out where i'm going to stick it i don't know if i want to put it in a smaller vial in a smaller vial and stick it in here so if you could let me know what you think i should do please let me know and i have some burn gels in here these alcohol free wipes yes i've got more of these i've got some more of these coming and i've got another pouch coming to go with this thing itself and that's a glove pouch so yeah i have them 
another triangular bandage. Everybody thing, favorite thing. Another um, foil blanket. I do carry look quite a few of these guys. I've got these all over my rucksack, all over my kit. So yeah, I do recommend them. Pair of scissors. These are proper first aid scissors. They're not just normal scissors. They are first aid, as you can tell by the end of that one. So yeah, I am thinking about getting. I want to get another pack of these. Another pack. Another another one of these because these are fantastic and I want to put one in my jacket first aid kit as you've just seen and in the back I have quite a few I have wound dressings and I have two of these non woven swaps I am putting more of these in but this more time that's the only thing I've got so yeah right, I'm going to turn you around and then I'll speak to you in a minute turn you around right Right guys, I hope you like my first aid stuff. I know it's a lot of first aid gear, but as I said, I'm a lone wolf, so I like to make sure I've got my gear level, um, modular throughout the whole of my project. I know people call it layering, but I call it modules because basically that's the way I've been brought up to call it. And the modules are basically my EDC, yeah, EDC, jacket, belt and, um, belt and straps, rucksack, and then my int system. I've got no stuff in my uh, no stuff for my int system on my first aid kit because basically I don't know what to stick into it yet. So yeah, I am trying to put that together soon. So yeah, and the, and thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please put the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. We've got more coming up with Plymouth up with Plymouth up on this channel. Sorry about that, guys. I've just lost my lesson. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.